Hey, Mike here. In one of my previous videos, I got a few comments asking me to do a deeper dive into my Readwise settings and how I make them look like this. All of this is created for me automatically. All I have to do is just save the specific article or Twitter tweet or X tweet, whatever you want to call it nowadays. And then it will all congregate here into my specific date that I've set. I added this little portion because, of course, I want to make a separate video on this, but that's a different topic. And then the last part of the title is where this is from. So if this was an article, for example, here's a quick example of this being from an article that I just made right now. But anyway, Anyway, the highlights are really nice because not only do they look nice here, but they can also expand into, of course, more detail. And then if I want to see the tweet itself, I just click the little link there and it takes me directly to that tweet. Then I can see everything that is within the tweet. I could also just click the link shortener here and it will take me instead to the direct article instead of the tweet. So that kind of saves me a click. Now, the first thing that you are going to need to do is, of course, have this specific plugin installed in the first place, Readwise Official. Next, you'll head on over to readwise.io slash systemsculpt and set up an account if you don't have one already. If you do it through my little link here, then you'll get 60 days, which is, of course, two full months instead of just a 30-day trial. This is, of course, what the page will look like. So, yeah, just uh, set it up and then come on back to Obsidian. Next, you are going to head on over to your settings within the Readwise official plugin and then click the customize button that you see right here. And this is what you'll be hit with, the Obsidian export page. So when it comes to all of these settings, I'm not really going to go through them one by one. Instead, I've made a readme, which is just going to be a public Git repository on my GitHub link in the description. And it will have everything that you need and reasonings as to why I do certain things. I will, of course, extend the explanations as to what each of these things do. Maybe in the future, I will add multiple versions of this Readwise template. But one thing that I will certainly do is update it very frequently because I find that I do iterations often and I try to maximize the benefit that I get from these highlights and notes in general. Again, this specific repo will be in my description box, but let's just go over this real quick. All you're going to do is look at the place where you will put this code. You will copy it. Just click this little copy button, head on over to the Obsidian export page and just paste it in. And now same thing, page title. Let's go back here and check out page title. And here I have a reason of leave this blank because I find it redundant to have two titles present. Same thing goes for metadata. I have all of my metadata that I need within my YAML front matter because this just allows any information that I do provide as context to be easily searchable through the use of data view. And yeah, you'll just do the same thing for each of these. Highlights header, hop on over here, look at the highlights header, copy it, and so on and so forth. You may want to watch this, and all you got to do is just click watch or star it, fork it maybe. And that way, of course, you will get all of the updates that I come up with, any optimizations that I do. Now, the reason that I have this little tag here, and if you do want me to dive deeper into how this code works, then I can definitely do that in a separate video, but I do want to keep this one quite short just so that you can get it all set up appropriately. But Obsidian introduced what's called, well, they're not called annotations, they're called, hold on, I forgot what it's called specifically, but they're called callouts, that's what they're called. So these callouts, they allow you to do basically what admonitions the community plugin did, but now it's of course built in. So you can do an info box like I do in my notes, or you can go, you know, deeper and create nested callouts. I do a one nest callout, I believe. You can also get fancy and change how everything looks with CSS, but I don't really go that far maybe I will in the future, who knows, but if I do, then of course I will update the GitHub. But yeah, the same way that functionality works here, that's the same way I've set everything up here. So yeah, expect a lot of updates for all of this. This is just my first rendition of how I want everything to look when it comes to note-taking and text syncing between Readwise and Obsidian. I might go a bit more complex, I might actually make things simpler, who knows, but uh, yeah, all you got to do is head on over here, star it, click the watch, and then you will, of course, get all of the notifications of when this is updated. Let me know any questions, comments, or concerns you may have, and I will either reply or make a follow-up video for you with an answer. As always, thank you so much for watching. A special thank you to all my patrons that help support daily content on this channel, and I will see you again in the next video.